Hello, Lollipoppers, and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. I'm your host, Lollipop 81 MLE, here today, and of course, we are continuing with the monthly challenges that I have on my channel. And for those that are new, I decided to give myself some challenges. So here is the criteria any setting, any error, any medium, and any figure, original characters, real life figures and even canon canonical characters. So what better way to do this challenge than to have two of my OCs in a final scene in um, early spring. So I decided to do Nathan and Liliana again. And as you know, if you've been on my channel since at least 2019, these two are my OCs and they're from a series of stories that I do on my DVNR page called the Secrets Inside series and basically if you guys have not been on my DVNR or have followed the ch my channel for a while um, consider this as a spoiler alert because there's gonna be a lot of spoilers here and of course um, some I will share some examples of other illustrations that I've done Featuring some of my original characters and even some canonical characters. So, here we go. Um, with Nathan and Liliana, these two are my couple and main two characters in the Secrets Inside series. Which is a story series that I've been doing since at least 2015. And this series was inspired by a teaser trailer that my friend did back in 2013. And he posted that to YouTube, and of course, there was, like, no plot. It, it, of course, it's a teaser trailer. What do you expect? So, I decided I wanted to write the whole story. Write a story around it. So, my friend was like, sure. Of course, with his help with, like, grammar and um, spotting plot holes and whatnot, I did the first three stories while I was a junior and senior in high school and of course um Vindicta Retorta I began writing in 2018 for after around the time after I officially finished putting up concrete jungles onto DeviantArt now on to the spoiler portion of the video Nathan and Liliana do get together, and how their relationship is is that they got together in the third story, but they meet in the first story, and Lily was under a different name and disguise, and at first, uh, Nathan was not happy that Lily hid her identity, but it was for good reason, and I recommend you read The Secrets Inside. And then the relationship begins to bloom in 18 feet, which is a shorter, which is the shortest of the four stories. And then Concrete Jungles, Lily is in a coma for the first half, at least the first half of the story. And then she comes back and is badass. She becomes more stronger and more confident than the shy girl that we meet in the first story and of course Nathan does fall in love with her and they are a power couple so to speak and their relationship is further developed into the fourth story and whatnot and Lily does get her time as a solo hero heroine herself now it for this scene that I decided to do this is where um, I usually like to brainstorm when I'm doing stuff and eventually, of course, I do put these in the story or whatnot. This is going back to when I used to do vlogs with my friends in high school and we were brainstorming for the OG Teams of Innocence and Bloodstained Iron. So for this scene, I brainstormed a scene after the battle between the Woodland Fae and the Arrow Fae, after the Woodland Fae reconquer their forest and whatnot, and 
um, Nathan and Lily are separated for a little bit during the final battle, and at the end of it, and of course this scene occurs around early April, so that's why there's no snow on the ground, and they reunite, and they hold and share an embrace, and they share a p passionate kiss again, because, come on, this is Nathan reuniting with his girlfriend, and again, I'm not spoiling the rest of it, because I like to share try to keep the surprises to a minimum and keep the big surprises for the writing again like i said earlier spoiler alert and of course lily's hair color her hair is a chestnut caramel brown which leads leans a little bit on the dark blonde side she's not a complete blonde she borderlines light brown and dark blonde so that's why she does have like some darker strands in her hair as I usually do it so I just want to clarify that as the author here and again I do encourage you guys to check out um, the stories on my deviant art page at lollipop one mle it's linked in the description and of course um, the outfits are fantasy and Japanese inspired as um, the a lot of like the elements are, especially with like oh yes I the other thing honestly what made me inspired to do this is for the outfits especially for Liliana's was the character uh, Frey in the game Blades of Brim, which is this new endless running game. From Saibo, the same guys that brought you Subway Surfers. I'll insert a pic here as to where I got the idea from. And I'm actually currently in a process of doing an Ill another scene where these two are preparing to go into the first battle before the Aerofei decide to actually conquer the Woodland Blowing Forest. And while doing this piece, I, I finished the whole piece, and then I realized I forgot to do the belt. I forgot to do Nathan's belt and light sword. So, in the end, yes, you do get like a few se like at least four seconds of me adding in Nathan's belt. But again, <laughs> other than that, other than going back and doing that, I am very impressed with how I've done this. Also... I did promise to show some illustrations of one of the illustrations I did with these two characters. It Two of them, actually, is them getting Escalon's chest, which is right here. And the other was the first piece coming back into using um, Autodesk Sketchbook was them kissing, sharing their first kiss. And again, like I said, my style has improved tenfold. And... After that, after that, of course, like, I have been, um, one of the biggest things that I've been taking well, and usually this isn't, usually, like, criticism doesn't go well with me, but I actually have been taking, getting good criticism, good constructive criticism, and one of the other stories that I'm currently writing which is Debutante, The Prince and the Maid, which is also going to be up on my DeviantArt soon. One of the scenes is where our two characters, um, romantic leads, first meet. And I've gotten very great feedback on it, which really is helpful. And I applied it to this scene, as you'll see in a bit with the background. I almost wanted to redo the the legs Lily's legs here because um her body is turned and she is it looked like she was leaping into Nathan picked her up her feet here and I'm going to have to confirm this like her legs are probably she probably turned her legs a little inward a little bit and again I also again I added in some in Woodland Fae in Ixin ex mm. Exignias, their logo, onto their outfits here because 
what the woodlands say they have like a W, the triangle, a few dots and sparkles around it, and their color scheme is like all earthy plus blue, purple, and gold. And and of course with the Eric Bay it's all reds, grays, oranges. All darker tones. So of course I go with the with the uh, shading and lighting here. So here we go. Basically, I apply what I did with the landscaping, and I tried to do a Bob Rocks background with the glowing forest. And I added in some pine trees in the background of the Healing Lake, is where they are, and that was where they also shared their first kiss. I'm trying to do, oh my god, it's difficult doing it uh, digitally, but I, of course, I manage. And then, of course, I actually had to add in some extra bushes. And also the moonlighting here is like basically was helping me determine where to place the, um, the highlights. And of course I go in with the um, the land and I actually this of course the, one of the benefits of digital art is that you can copy the well, duplicate a layer and flip it over and lower the opacity, which is what I did with the trees here for the glowing forest, and I, yeah, I almost made it, like, traditionally, like, a regular forest here, but again, we're coming to the end of this video, the final piece is up on my DVNR page, at lollipop81mle, as well as the stories I mentioned in the Secrets Inside series, as well as the, as Tainted Innocence, Bloodstain, um, and also Walkins, and future, in the future, debutante. So anyways, also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit. They're also linked down below. And please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications as I post videos like this. Lollipop Sings and Lollipop Discusses usually usually once a month on Fridays and Saturdays. Twice a month, Fridays and Saturdays. But this month is Art Month and I'm trying to keep with a two, twice a week schedule here. I almost went with snow here for a second, but then I changed my mind. Of course, we had the lighting part, which I struggled a little bit, but again, of course the leaves too. Of course, the lighting was the biggest thing here. But anyways, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications, like this video if you enjoyed this, comment your feedback, and what you want to see draw and illustrate next, whether it be traditional or digital and i will see you next time peace y'all